Yo, what's up everybody? It's the Legend of W here and I'm back in Blank Dream now. In the last video, I experienced uh, ending number 5 of the game. So, um, I didn't know that there were multiple endings in the game, to be honest with you. I probably read it somewhere, but uh, I honestly didn't know while I was playing. But anyways, in the last video, uh, I experienced some dialogue when I went to uh, the Realm of Blood in the Mirror Room. Uh, if I go back, you know, there's a whole bunch of blood and there was something that mentioned to me that she has a bad feeling about this So, um, I'm gonna look into it uh, And just see if there's anything that I can change So, uh, stay tuned for more of that and I'll see you guys in a little bit Alright everybody, so I'm back into the scene where if I selected uh, No, not yet, it would lead me to ending number 5 so what I'm going to do this time, uh, in this case, um, I'm going to go ahead and stab the knife uh, into uh, this girl's throat. So uh, let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so she kills herself. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, she breaks the mirror. Okay. And is that going to be it? Or what, anything else? Okay, no. She broke the mirror, right? Okay, so... She doesn't say anything. Michiro came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, uh, there was no trace of a knife wound. Okay, yes, in the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife on those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to calm my parents as they dealt with the inheritance went to waste. I set off a bomb just waiting to burst. My mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right. And so I lost a place to belong. Okay. Just as Michiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she lost something important. Okay, so... Uh, Michiro definitely had a, a bad feeling about this, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Anyways, I'm going to save the game. Um, and just check out where I'm going to go next. Uh, who? There is a space over here to this door. Okay, no, it doesn't lead me anywhere. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's just leave this place. Alright, so now, this time I'm gonna unlock this door over here. Uh, with the golden key. Let's enter it. Uh, a steel hemlet? Uh, helmet. <laughs> hemlet. <laughs> okay, a steel hem. uh... <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? Okay, let me just go ahead and save the game. There are three doors, so I might as well go to the bottom first, I guess. Uh, ooh, there's a shadowy figure, and he uh, looks like he's out for blood. Maybe I should just hide. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like some kind of maze? Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, that's pretty dangerous. Okay, uh, the Holy Mother was born on September 5th. It was a very joyous day. Okay, oh look, there's a teddy bear here. Stairs with round eyes, cute. Oh boy, oh boy, he sees me and I'm reading. The poor children of the Holy Mother once donated to uh, Gru and sent her a bouquet. She's very delighted. Oh man, I'm dead, I knew it. Okay, <laughs> let's start over again. All right, let's go back into the uh, room over here. Uh, apparently, I gotta hide uh, from this bastard over here. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I should be... Oh, what the hell? What the hell? The Holy Mother's most beloved day. Oh, am I supposed to actually input the date? Okay, let me see. Nothing happened. Um. Okay, this is this is creepy. Okay, so this th guy is just angrily looking for me. Okay, maybe I should just run this way. Oh god, he is after my ass. Oh boy, it's two guys now. Oh shit. Okay, two guys are after me, and I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep running. Okay, the Holy Mother puts others before herself, thus she, 
Majesty, love the world, and God the feather, the Father. Oh my God, I'm, I'm just so distracted because she's about to die. What? What the fuck? Can, can I? Oh, he hears the noise. Okay. Oh shit! Better fucking chill out. Okay. On six twelve. Okay, let's try 612. Let's see. Uh, 612. Okay, so the statue disappears. The statue of the Holy Mother faded into darkness as if only an illusion. Alright, enough of those steps. Jesus, freaking annoying. Uh, full of junk covered in dust. Uh, among the dust-covered junk is a book of matches. Take them. Michiro took the matchbook, careful not to collapse the pile of junk. Okay, so I got matches. There's nothing... Okay. Uh, huh. This is a mysterious place. I could barely see anything. Okay. There's only darkness in the unlit fireplace. So can, can I just uh, use... No? Okay, I can't use anything. I guess I need uh, some wood or something. Wait, what did it say? There's only darkness in the unlit fireplace. Okay, never mind. Uh, shit. So maybe I'm supposed to leave this place. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck! He showed up right there. He was just waiting for my ass to show up. Let's pick up these matches. And uh, I guess we're good, right? Oh shit, he showed up right there. Uh, anything changed? No? He might still be there. No? Oh. Okay. So, I guess we're okay? Alright, so let's go up here. The room is dark and the weak lantern doesn't seem to uh, able to light the room adequately. Okay, so I can't access that place. Okay, we have a statue. Uh, there's an unnatural gap in the books in the middle of the shelf. A hammer? Knife? Uh, matches? Okay, he's not doing anything. Alright. Respect your predecessors. Okay, there's some stairs. Uh, oh. Okay. Is there anything different? Uh, I don't I don't get it oh boy okay my loss what do I uh, I guess I go here uh, okay um, kind of lost respect your predecessors what is that supposed to mean oh I guess I'm just supposed to look at hmm look at this doorway Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go upstairs. Okay, oh. It wasn't here either. There's a lot of blood here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay, I'm dead. All right, let's take a look at this again. Um, okay, so let me follow these crack stairs and the blood. That's what I definitely know right now. Uh... Go upstairs, and then what now? Okay, I'm not gonna go to that room. Oh, okay, there you go, okay. I knew there was something weird. Okay, this barrel with an odd air about it has a book with a blue cover inside. Okay, take it. Okay, Michiro found value in the book and timidly took it. All right, so I got a blue book now. And I'm supposed to exit. So let's exit. And I guess I gotta put this book over here. So place it. Oh shit! I didn't know that was gonna happen. All right, now I know what to do. So follow the crack, follow the blood again. Go follow the crack and then go back to the crack that you were in to pick up this book. Okay. Okay, we're good now, we're good. Alrighty, so let's uh, try to be careful this time. Place the book. Oh shit! Okay. Whew. 
That was a... Oh, man. Okay, it's gone now, so now I can explore this room in here. Is there anything that's gonna attack me? No, right? Okay, let's look at this gate. Oh, shit, I'm locked, am I? Wait, hold on. What are these holes? Uh, no. Oh, I knew it. Something was wrong here. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Alright, let's go back up here. Uh, okay, let me just... Let me just see if I pull the lever just right here. Okay. There was a sound nearby. Okay, so I did good. I did good. Uh, I guess we gotta go in here. Anything in here? An old book rests on top of the desk. Take it. With a quick read of the book, it turns out to be a manual on using lamps. Uh, Mishiro, Mishiro got a manual. Okay, Mishiro learned how to adjust the wick of her lantern and can adjust its intensity with something that makes fire. Adjusting the lantern can be done from the menu. Okay. I guess that's pretty much it. Or, wait, let's look in here. What's this? Mishiro Usui dead. Oh. Uh has died oh wow it's just me here lies Michiro Usui oh wow it's just a whole bunch of me my eyes will never open again oh boy uh, speaks no more okay this is creepy well might as well just leave because there's nothing else to see uh, <laughs> okay cool so now that um, I'm able to adjust my lantern Let's see if I can... Okay, so let me see. I think I can adjust it more according to the... Uh, I don't know. Let me see properly. Okay. Okay, no, no. I could just look, but it's not like crazy where I can like brighten the whole room. It's still pretty dark, so it's still very scary to see all of this stuff. What the hell is that? Is that a hole? No? Oh boy, it's a statue. An angel-like statue. Uh, glass and wine bottle. Take it. Uh, mm, huh. I don't know. A flapping wooden stool. Flip. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to. Uh, it looks like a closet. Open it. Oh shit! I died. Okay, let's go back into this door, and I guess we're supposed to uh, fix a few things. No, I I'm a bed. It can't be moved. Wait, what? A western sword? Move? Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this. Draw is open. Uh, I guess I could close it. Okay, um, not sure what I'm supposed to do. It won't open. Uh, what's this? West shall always be a reflection of east. Okay, so I'm supposed to move these objects of east. Always a reflection, a flipped wooden stool. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to match what's on this side of the room and uh, replicate it on the other side. Okay, so drawers, TV base. Okay, so mostly, okay, two stools are flipped. And uh, the wine and glass are just like chilling there, I guess. So let me just try to emulate that right now. Uh, okay, let's flip it. Okay, that's flipped. Uh, I think, okay, yeah, I got it. I got it now. Okay, so we go in here. Nothing else? Okay. Now I'm in some other room. I can barely see shit. Uh, some things cannot be seen when there is light. Uh, okay, so what? I have to adjust my shit? Uh, in darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. Okay. Uh, huh. Alright, it's too dark to see, uh, in the fireplace. So can I just use the, the match? Uh, nothing? Okay. Hmm. Can I adjust my lantern? Okay, the lantern's light can be adjusted. Uh, weaken it. Alright, it's faintly lit in a small area. Hold on, let's try that again. Uh, let's 
uh, strengthen it. Okay, it's strong little to a wide area. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see, what's inside here? Extends into the emptiness. Uh, uh, the fireplace extends into emptiness. Okay, nothing else to see? Oh, nice. Okay, so I got the western sword. I unfastened it because I didn't know I could actually use this. Um, okay, wait, but the... It won't open anymore. Aw, oh, fuck. Okay, wait a minute. What if I just, like, uh, replace it with my knife? Oh, wait a minute. How about I just take this sword? Okay, awesome. Hold on. I think, yeah, I took it. Okay, we're good now. Alright, so now, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, weaken the, the lamp. And then, let's try to, uh, stab this... Uh, whatever that thing is, right here. Mishiro can't think of a use for this here. Wait, but it just uh, stabbed the sword onto the unseen corpse. Okay, wait. Maybe here? I'm trying to figure this out. Hmm. Plunge the western sword into the floor? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try that. Oh! Okay, uh, Michiro heard something moving nearby. Okay, so maybe I should, uh, light up the lantern. So I can oh, there's a lot of blood. Okay. Um, maybe here, fireplace is gone. Uh, revealing a ladder down. Okay, let's descend. Okay, cool. So I solved the whole, uh, mystery here. Uh, let me go ahead and save, and let's check out the next, uh, reflection. The mirror shows Mishiro's reflection. Look in. One day ago, a road. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm walk- uh, you really don't have to see me off. It can't hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here, either. Then again, once you're black all over, maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mishiro. <sighs> Why are you so nice? Eh? I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to care about me, is there? Huh? I mean, I certainly wasn't deepening our friendship solely to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You're done. You've done a lot for me, Ayato. Hold on. What's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in particular out of you. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why uh, you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate motives or pros and cons when I'm making friends with people. Do you, Mishiro? Didn't I tell you to wait? Oh, whoa, wait, whatever. Didn't I tell you to me interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers? I did hear you were in such a situation. When have you already forgotten it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it to preserve. Pres uh, sorry for my reading, everybody. My mom does it to preserve her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. You're overthinking it, Mishiro. I don't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. <laughs> yeah, she's very estranged by this. I heard your mom has been disciplining your you harshly ever since a few years ago, and that your high school is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how things are, so I loosen up. Uh, so loosen up, okay? <laughs> Alright, so Yada's being real cool about it. Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? 
I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think that about me. Uh, I didn't mean to say... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really though, enough of all the overly logical thinking. Or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, let's go. Um... Hmm? The then... Mishiro, watch out! Oh! Whoa! the hell happened? Uh, oh, a car? Oh, whoa. Oh, shit, a car accident. Stop it, that's enough. Oh, hell no. Damn. Ooh. Okay, now we're seeing something deeper. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Damn. Oh, snap. Just stop it. Ayato protecting her from the reckless driver headed toward her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishiro Usui's heart dying in that instant and her loss of hope for using Ayato carrying her to Mirror Lake in which she threw herself in despair. All these things Mishiro remembered. Okay, so... Uh, just as Mishiro regained a, de uh, a piece of her memory, she felt as if she lost something important. Okay, alright, so, uh, in the realm of death, yeah, this was, um, pretty interesting. So, uh, basically, Ayato, uh, was pretty much the, the last piece, uh, that kind of gave her, I guess, maybe the will to live, because, you know, he treated her well, and he was a good friend. Uh, with his death, you know, him saving her, it kind of just destroyed her. So that's um, actually pretty sad. Um, so yeah, I wonder what else we're going to discover in this game. So uh, anyways, stay tuned for more Blank Dream. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you guys in the next chapter. Peace.